The next procedure we'll be talking about is forehead and brow lift surgery. It's important when you're operating around the eye area that you look at the forehead. People may just need forehead surgery, they might need just eye surgery called blepharoplasty, or they may need a combination of the both. When I was at Stanford, I helped author a paper teaching plastic surgeons to choose which brow lift or forehead lift procedure to perform. There are numerous ones available. The different variables in choosing the right procedure are one, male versus female, two, the height of the forehead, and also the hairline. So it's important to have the expertise and experience to know which procedure would be best for one indicated patient. I came up here to visit Dr. Troll because my sister lives here. She's used him several times and wonderful results. As far as our first meeting with Dr. Troll, I was totally relaxed. I mean, he gave me confidence by just sitting in that office and let me know how things were going to go. As I go down the road, he will be my doctor. I will be back. I uh, came in for a facelift, a mini facelift, and he said, no, I did not need that. But they would take some fat from my stomach and my thighs and uh, fill in the spots I wanted filled in. And uh, a brow lift. He thinks that's what I need is a brow lift. And uh, I was very, very impressed with the staff. They are wonderful from the time you check in to the procedure I'm fixing to have done. Uh, I have great confidence in them and um, I'm looking forward to the results. I plan on coming back in three or four months to have the dot laser treatment that my sister had yesterday so that will really tighten up my skin. I'm not going to have any wrinkles up here and I'm not going to have I'm going to look young when I get out of here.